the evil of this is it's sentimental and it's nostalgic. And if you're biblical, nostalgia is not biblical. Nostalgia says the best was in the past. And a biblical hope says I have hope because the best is yet to come. So you don't believe the gospel if you're nostalgic and looking back through the rearview mirror, the good old 50s, they were better. No, they weren't better. That, some things might have been better, some things were worse. Some things we didn't talk about that were happening and uh, pretended on TV shows that no one was having sex, even though they had kids and everything. Um, or we have to make it explicitly, explicitly Christian. So, and the dangers of this, actually, <clears throat> if I'm speaking with pastors, I'll be more direct. But it's practical deism, because if you think you've got to stay away from the bad and just cling to the good, where's God? He's not redeeming anything. He's not involved in anything. You're a deist. You don't believe in a creator who's involved in creation. You think he created the earth and zipped out and he's watching from afar. Absolute heresy. It's not biblical at all. And the second one, it's works righteousness. If you've done this, you've earned your righteousness. I stayed pure. No, you didn't. That's from the pit of hell. You were born dead in your transgressions. That's where you were when Christ died for you. He died, he died to rescue you from over here. He's a redeemer. That's who he is. So this view of art is <clears throat> exactly opposite of a biblical understanding of where things should be.